Honda Civics used to come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, from the stubby little CRX to the tall, all-wheel drive Civic wagon. But long ago, the funneling effect of mainstream consumer tastes, another way to say that we are all sheep, caused Honda to pair the Civic line to its two biggest sellers, the sedan and the coupe. America even got its own Civic platform, while Europe and other overseas markets continued to enjoy a hatchback body style, which was last seen around these parts as the 2002-2005 UK-built C. British Invasion Well, that Anglo-American pipeline is back in business as Honda's Swindon, England, assembly plant once again swings into action to produce a Civic hatchback for America. The return of the hatch is a younger, spartier, and more male-oriented alternative to the sedan and coupe was made possible by last year's introduction of a common Civic platform for all global markets. Now that there is one Civic to unite us all, Honda has a better business case for importing less popular variants to the US here, the hatchback which carries a $500 and up premium over the sedan, is being plugged into the compact segment as a way to grow incremental volume, basically, it's found money, and, possibly, as a way to staunch the outflow of compact sedan buyers to crossovers. Honda finally sees some movement in America's long dormant ardor for hatchbacks and is hoping for 40,000 to 50,000 sales per year, a number that would give total Civic volume a healthy bump indeed. That is, assuming they aren't mostly swiped from the Civic sedan and coupe buyer pool. The forthcoming hatch-only Type R will certainly help draw attention to this new bustle back body style as well. A sedan with a garage door in back. This is not the return of the CVCC or any of the other thrifty hatchback versions of the Civic that have come here over the past four decades. Along the lines of the Mazda 3 and Ford Focus hatchbacks, the new Civic hatchback is basically a sedan with a garage door in back. Besides the body style's namesake cargo opening as well as the roof, rear doors, and rear quarter panels, all of the outer sheet metal is in common with the sedan. Inside, the structure was reinforced around the large hatch hole to maintain rigidity, but the wheelbase and width are identical, and overall length shrinks by just 4.3 inches. The most obvious physical differences, besides the lack of a trunk, are the goth black face paint for the exterior trim and the faux duct inserts in the bumpers, which make the hatchback seem less like a car and more like a robot with terminally flared nostrils. As we said, it's supposed to appeal to youth, who, apparently, want to be seen as having a lot of hot gas to expel.